How do you explain such insanity? The theological term, the noetic effects of the fall. We human beings, thanks to our federal head, Adam, we are busted. Our brains don't work right. Our thinking is off kilter. And because of that, unless we are regenerated, we will make hideous decisions like Roe v. Wade. So, I used to think science would win the day for us, but now I know our arguments are no longer rational and we're no longer arguing from any position of sanity. So, like, let me give you some examples of, of what I'm talking about. Do you know that if you legally, if you, the, the, the law is written with the word molest, if you molest a bald eagle egg, so you're on a hike and you come across a nest with eggs in it, and you're like, oh, look how cool these eggs are. You take a little selfie with the egg, post it on your Instagram. Somebody sees it. You know that you could be fined heavily and put in prison for molesting a bald eagle egg, also a sea turtle egg, but you can suck a living baby, limb from limb, as it screams out of the womb, and it'd be perfectly legal. Why? It is because we need to understand what's really happening in our culture. We hear these stories, and we understand the wickedness that happens behind abortion clinic doors, and we just go, oh, what's happening? Why is this happening? It is because unregenerated man's thinking is busted to put on top of it even more insanity let's say you get in your car and you're on the way to the clinic to have an abortion and a drunk driver runs a red light and slams into your car and you lose the baby do you know that that person could be tried for involuntary manslaughter and yet if you got to the clinic you're well within your legal rights to go ahead and have the baby sucked out and vacuumed like this is madness right like this is seared conscience stuff. This is arguments that are outside the realm of rational thought. It, it really is crazy. And that's why you, get, you just go, <laughs> these people is just insane. You're right, because it is insanity. It's the noetic effect of the fall. That is how adults who tie their shoes, have briefcases, make their way to an office to get a paycheck, actually make decisions all day, will justify the decision to kill their own children by inventing cockamamie logic, if there is such a thing, like, hey, it doesn't matter because it's my choice. This idea that a woman, woman's body is her own and she can do whatever she want is not true in any domain of society. Listen guys, I love you. The government tells you all the time what to do with your body. Last time I checked, prostitution was illegal in Dallas. And just for the record, I haven't checked in a long time because I don't need to check. I, it doesn't matter if it's legal or not. But I believe that it is illegal. Which I believe is the government going, you can't do that with your body. If you do that with your body, we will arrest you, we will put you in jail, and we will also arrest um, the guy that is trying to buy from you that body that is yours. Um, you cannot take off all your clothes and drive home naked without being pulled over and arrested. Right? That's the government telling you what to do with your body. Simple as that. I mean, it's just, it's just, you can't tell, keep your laws off my body. Are you kidding? Laws are all over all of our bodies, and yet, boing, it just bounces off and ricochets off their noodles because they are broken. Uh, the other excuse, and this one far more sensitive because a wicked, cruel act happens, and yet we must help people understand how a baby is conceived. As wicked as that may have been, it is still a child, it is still a human being, and the horrible, wicked act of rape does not change that fact. Last night, in both the 5 and the 715, there were women present with their daughters who did not abort that little girl and that little boy after they were raped. And I got to sit over here in this corner and, and watch a 17-year-old girl lift up her hands in worship last night. Got to watch her as she navigates in circles that we run in. And listen, I'm not 
It was unbelievably difficult. And praise God for her mama that fought the good fight of working through all the collateral damage that comes, all the emotional turmoil that's present. I am not trying to make that any lighter than it should be. It will be climbing Everest. But it is still murder. Would you like to see that young girl raising her hands, worshiping the Lord? Would you really like to see her dead, non-existent on this planet because she was conceived in rape? So when you have the exaltation of the autonomous self, what I want matters most, what I desire matters most, forget sacrifice, forget hurting, forget the long road, I want what I want when that collides in a society that says throw it away and get a new one. You get abortion on demand. Do you know how percentage-wise, how few abortions actually even occur under the banner of rape? It's hardly measurable. So that's everybody's trump card. What about rape? Well, most abortions don't occur because of rape. Most abortions are occurring because of convenience. I don't want to be pregnant. I didn't plan this. So typical of human beings, but of an unregenerate world in particular, to use the little tiny exception to change what should be an obvious rule.